Senator Peterson. Thank you, Mr. President. I start on this bill from the principle that we should first do no harm. And with due respect to the gentleman from the 47th District, I think one alternative we could consider is just continuing with the system that we have right now and measuring uh, the, this bill against that system. When we measure this bill against the current system, which the court found lacking, what we find is that 605,000 students do worse, more than half of the students in Washington Public Schools. Some of those are of particular concern to me, the 53,000 plus students in the Seattle Public Schools, and in particular, the four children of mine who attend Stevens Elementary School on Capitol Hill and Thurgood Marshall Elementary School in the Central District. This bill would cause the taxpayers of Seattle to have a $174 million tax increase. And the result for Seattle Public Schools would be a cut of over $30 million. Now, Senator Fain will say that's not fair. You should compare instead to what happens if the levy cliff doesn't continue. So I can look at the document prepared by committee services to see what happens if the levy cliff doesn't continue. The total increase then, without considering the levy cliff money, is $2.3 million for the 53,000 students in Seattle Public Schools. Uh, by a quick calculation on the numbers right off of the page, the total addition is less than $50 per student. I had folks in my office today from Hamilton International Middle School where they've got 35 kids in a classroom in a school building that's, burst, that's built for 800, maybe 850, and that has over 1,200 kids in it. That is not an uncommon problem across the north part of Seattle in particular. And Mr. President, I believe that we are sadly, sadly mistaken if we think that what the court has asked us to do in providing ample funding for public education is to move the chairs around the deck. Our schools have inadequate resources to do what we have asked them to do, and we've got to figure out how to put more resources in them. This plan does not do that. In fact, it makes the majority of our kids worse off. And I urge a no vote.